Hello and welcome to this World of Tanks tutorial. My name is Maxwell and today we're going to be taking a look at the map Abbey and the routes and tactics you should use as a light tank scout. So as always before we get into the video we'll take a quick look at a map of Abbey. From, as you can see from the blue and yellow lines, those are the optimum routes you're going to want to use as a scout. And as always, the dotted line indicates the route that you should take if you get spotted or if you want to press on towards the enemy's base. As you can see, we're totally missing out the right flank as that is just a meat grinder of heavy tanks there. And a light tank, especially a scout, is absolutely useless in that area. You can also see that enemy tank destroyers generally camp in or around the base. I mean, you may get one or two adventurous tank destroyers which like to try and move into the village in the centre but that doesn't happen very often mostly they will be camped on the ridge just in front of the base the SPGs and artillery take very predictable camping spots as you can see they're generally just those two areas for each base on the left hand flank is where you get most of the action with heavy and medium tanks fighting down that flank and that is the optimum route that you should take really but you need to be very careful as there is a high probability that you can get destroyed. And the central village there you should only really take if you have backup as a lot of medium tanks will tend to congregate in that area. So the first route we're going to cover here is going to be directly through the centre village. Now this technique should only be undertaken if you know you've got support, so if you know there's a couple of medium tanks or even a couple of light tanks coming with you, because if you get to the centre and you are alone, 9 times out of 10 you'll get destroyed, because all a couple of medium tanks just need to rush up the little hill as you'll see and they'll totally box you in and you'll be done for. Now what you want to do is just basically head forward as quickly as possible and get up this path if you get to this area and you spot a couple of tanks in front of you, then don't be afraid. Just take a, a quick left turn there and drop down to the second road and we'll cover that technique, that route next. So what you want to do is just head into this little courtyard area and take shelter behind this building here. Uh, and then if you just poke out and have a look through those archways there, they offer a good vantage point directly over the enemy's base. And once this area has been cleared, if you know that you have, you're the only tank there, then what you can do is just move forward and get a get closer to those archers, and you'll be able to get a better vantage point on the enemy's base. Also, what you can do is you can spin around here, and just take a left, and you get a fantastic view over that little alleyway on the right-hand flank, and it will allow you to spot any enemy tanks moving through that position. Now if you get to this point here and you realise that you haven't got any support, if none of your allies are following you, or if not enough, then rather than forging on ahead and getting destroyed, what you want to do is hang a quick left there, and head along this road instead. You can also take this route along that road there if you drop a left, if you've already taken the high route. You can also take this route if you just feel like rushing towards the enemy's base. It's a lot safer of a rushing path as the enemy won't be expecting you to come along this way. Now once you get to these bushes, offer quite a good camouflage and this rock here, you can see me just hanging behind here, offers uh, good protection from enemy fire from directly in front if you do get spotted. So as you can see the bushes there offer good stealth and you get a fantastic view of the enemy's base. And it's quite quick to reach this position so sometimes you can catch tank destroyers and artillery moving into position and then that allows your artillery to take them out. Now if you, if you are rushing, or if this flank gets cleared, or you decide to push on, then what you want to do is just head directly forwards and get flush with these rocks here as quickly as you can, which will provide you some protection from direct fire. And then just spin around and up the little hill. Keep your gun pointed towards that tower there, as you'll normally find one or two tank destroyers parked behind there. And then it's a case of just hunting out the enemy's artillery, which you will find will 9 times out of 10 be in the base and either those bushes there will just pass on the left or these bushes that we are heading for directly in front here. If they're not in any of those positions then more than likely they will be just down this little hill here. If so if you just head to this bush that's generally where you'll find them. And finally for spawning at base number 1 we're going to take a look at the left hand flank. Now in my opinion this is the best route to take when you are scouting but there will be a lot of enemy activity in the area 
because uh, it's quite a heavily contested flank. Luckily, unlike the right-hand flank, there's a little more room to manoeuvre, so it's not just one giant meat grinder. There are rocks and hills for you to take cover from enemy fire. So what you want to do is just head round this direction. Don't take the little hill that is facing the base, as taking this route instead gains you an extra sort of ten, I would say five to ten seconds on the enemy. It gets you to your position about five to ten seconds faster, and when you're a fast scout, that matters. Always have a quick look down there because sometimes you can spot a heavy or medium tank moving into position and it kind of gives you a little forewarning of what you've got to deal with coming up. So what you want to do is just head to this rock wall here and just poke your head out and sit for a while. What The object is to try and spot the enemy as they're moving into position. What you can do is, like I've said before, spin the tank around so your rear is facing the enemy. Uh, don't worry, you won't be presenting it long enough for them to get a clear shot, and it just means you have extra acceleration like that if you do need to retreat for any reason. So, if either you're able to take out whoever comes that way, uh, or nobody comes that way, or your allies do, then what you want to do is just press on on this upper ridge here. Now, when you come into this area here, sometimes you can find an enemy heavy tank or an enemy tank destroyer just lurking in the area, so what you want to do is just rush straight past them, and take cover behind these rocks and then what you can try and do is just make him come to you and you can either strafe him to death which light tanks are good at or you can wait for one of your allies to come and destroy them if there's nobody up here then you won't have been spotted so what you want to do is just take cover behind one of these bushes and get a good look at the enemy's base now you normally won't reach there in time to see tank destroyers and artillery getting into position but you may be able to spot them if they loose off a shot you can also head over to the other side here and just hang over the cliff and you'll be able to spot any heavy tanks that are lagging behind or trying to hold a defensive position. Now if that's all clear and you can't see enemy, any tank destroyers lurking on the edge there, what you want to do is just head down this road as quickly as you can and get flush with the rock wall as we showed in the route earlier and then just move up into the enemy's base like we talked about before. Always have a quick look on your right hand side for any tank destroyers. If there is someone there, then just head up behind these rocks as quickly as you can and take some cover. Hopefully your artillery should be able to take them out without too much trouble. If it's taken a while for your artillery to take them out, then just strafe yourself around those rocks and try and stay moving to stop the enemy's artillery taking you out. So, as we've shown before, just hunt out the enemy's artillery now. So now we'll take a look at spawning at base number two. The routes are very similar, but the scenery changes, so we'll take a look at them. First one we're going to cover is the village. So again, like before, just head down the road as quickly as you can and try and get into the village as quickly as possible. And as we mentioned before, if you get to the top of this road here and there's a couple of tanks in front of you and you know you won't be able to defend yourself against them, just take a quick right and drop down to that bottom road and what you can do is you can either push forward to do a rush or you can move backwards back towards your own base and have a rethink now the vi this vi the courtyard here isn't as useful when spawning at base number two because the only position you have is this one here uh, you've got that building for cover and then these bushes here offer very good s camouflage and a good view of the enemy's base the saving grace is you can get here very quickly, so you've got a good chance of spotting the enemy getting in position. Unfortunately, though, you are very exposed in that area. So, as said before, if nobody's following you up to the village, if you haven't got any backup, then just swing a quick right here and try and take the bottom road. Or if you just want to do a total base rush, then take this bottom road also, as the enemy's less likely to expect it coming from this direction. Now, this isn't really a very good a very good route for spotting it's generally only for base rushing as you've only really got these bushes here now they offer good stealth so if you can get there quick enough then you may be able to get hidden but you generally don't have any cover if you start taking fire the only cover you have is if you fall all the way back here then you can get behind this building and that is literally the only cover so I would only recommend using this route if you are wanting to rush the enemy's base now if you are wanting to rush the enemy's base then 
just head direct straight out here you'll generally find that you won't have much competition in this little field area but you will have a couple of the light and medium tanks coming down there so you will be taking fire immediately so what you want to do is just get yourself flush with this rock wall and get some cover and then just head directly up to the enemy's base have a quick look because behind that red roofed building there is normally where you will find the enemy tank destroyers and the artillery is normally camped in these bushes here. Now this rock you can use as cover from tank destroyers. But you can't hide there forever. And what you want to do is just have a look in and around the bushes in the base. Normally 9 times out of 10, again the artillery will be camped inside the base. Or every now and then you'll get a cheeky one that's hidden all the way back here. And finally when spawning at base number 2 we come to the right hand flank. Which as mentioned earlier is where a lot of the action will be taking place you will get heavy and medium tanks both in that area but a lot more room to manoeuvre now as with the spawning at base number one don't take that little hill as it will add 10 to 15 seconds onto your journey time and as a light tank scout what your job is is to get to a fall position as fast as possible so just coming around this way will give you that little bit extra advantage now always come out quite wide there so you can have a view down that road and hopefully you might be able to spot somebody as you're moving into position just so you have an idea of what you're up against. And you want to just come forward and take this position here and you can just spot anybody coming up that hill and that rock in front of you will provide good cover from any enemy that is in the village. So just stay in this position and do some spotting. Now again you can spin the tank around so that your rear arm is facing where the enemy is coming from just so that you get that little bit extra acceleration if you do get spotted. Now once you're fairly certain that the area is clear you just want to push forward a little bit. Always with this area you want to be pushing forward stop have a have a look for a few seconds push forward stop have a look for a few seconds and then eventually you want to push up to this area here uh, if you do get caught and there's an enemy heavy tank or tank destroyer here these rocks won't provide any kind of cover so what you want to do is just rush forward to the enemy's base as quickly as possible as you've got no other choice basically now if you're lucky and there's nobody up here, what you want to do is just take cover in these bushes. So that gives you a fantastic view of the enemy's base and tank destroyer positions as you can see there. Now you may be able to get a view of them when they're loose off a shot, but you definitely won't be able to catch them moving in position. Now if you don't spot anybody or the area gets taken out, you want to just push down this hill as quickly as possible towards the enemy's base. And as before with the rushing method, just get flush with this rock as it will provide cover from direct fire and just push up the hill here have a quick look to see if the tank destroyers are there and you may be able to catch them unawares and get a free kill there and then it's just a case of seeking out the enemy's artillery uh, we've already covered their positions in the previous techniques so just have a look for them and try and get a couple of kills so thank you very much for watching this World of Tanks tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to like or favourite this video. And for more World of Tanks guides, tutorials and tips in the future, you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching.